welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you're new, my name is April. I have a two-year-old son named Martin and we live in Nashville, Tennessee. Typically on my channel you can find a lot of motherhood, lifestyle, and a whole bunch of Nashville since we live here. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you a super easy recipe for, it's kind of like my version of the Costco pinwheels that they sell. So it's really easy. You don't need a lot of ingredients. You just need some cream cheese, yummy. Everything with cream cheese is delicious. Chicken breast, Swiss cheese, or if you want to use a different cheese, you can. Some tortillas or some sort of a wrap. Any wrap would work. Um, I really wish that I could have found like some sort of like spinach type of wrap, but I couldn't find one. So tortillas will do. Some romaine lettuce and two tomatoes. So if this recipe interests you, make sure you stick around. I'm going to be sharing how I put this together. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And the bell next to it will give you notifications every time I post a video. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is chop up the lettuce. Now that I have the lettuce all chopped up, I have it in this little insert that goes into my salad spinner and I'm going to wash the lettuce. And then I'm going to wash the tomatoes. Okay, so you're going to start with your tortilla, and then you're going to take your cream cheese. I've had my cream cheese softening for about 30 minutes, but I'm still going to give it a little stir to make sure it's really soft. And you can take as little or as much of the cream cheese as you want and put it straight down the center of the tortilla. So make sure it's spread out nice and even. Just down the middle, not on the sides. Take a little more. And then I'm going to take the lettuce and go straight down the middle. Again, right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken breast. You can use rotisserie chicken or whatever kind of meat you'd like in these. This just happens to be what we grabbed today. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my cheese. We're using Swiss cheese, but again, you can use whatever kind of cheese you'd like. And then some tomato. I'm usually not a big tomato fan, but in these, I really like them for some reason. And then you want to make sure that you roll your pinwheels as tight as possible. Giving them a nice little squeeze. Make sure they're really tight. 
and then you can cut them. And then you've got these delicious little pinwheel sandwiches. Look at how good these turned out. I am so excited with the way the pinwheels turned out. I'm gonna make a big batch of these so that I can just keep them in the fridge because I always forget to feed myself. I feed Martin, I feed the animals, and then I end up not eating lunch. So these are a great idea for me and my family because they're simple, on the go, and I really enjoy eating them. So that way when we're going out of the house, I can put them in the lunch box and I have something for myself to eat. Or if I'm running around the house and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to eat something, it's just easy to grab. So if you'd like me to share more easy recipes like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button and the bell next to it for those notifications. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye guys.